Hey students, um, I've been asked several times to do an, a, uh, a video for P6-5 from the book. Um, the book, of course, being Engineering Graphics Essentials with AutoCAD 2022 instruction, which is for my, uh, um, this is for my CAD 100 class, okay, and what we're doing is we're making an isometric drawing from the um, uh, orthographic drawing that's on, uh, in the book. Okay, so hopefully you've got the book. <laughs> if not, you could probably follow along and draw this anyway. So I have opened up my title block template, okay, and maybe I should uh, start from the very beginning and uh, turn off the, uh, the isometric uh, grid there. But what you want to do first off uh, set your limits this thing is a big drawing it's a metric drawing um, but um, so our limits type in limits and zero zero so we hit enter for that I've got this set at 600 to 600 so I type in 600 comma 600 because one of my dimensions is um, 450 so you know that's a pretty good size something you got to do so this way uh, and then if I um, zoom extents there we go so now we're going to type snap and then we're going to type S for style and then we're going to tell it isometric and then all of my uh, little squares are going to become diamonds okay and vertical spacing is going to be 5 and there we are there's our diamonds okay and then our little cursor turns into an X-wing fighter from Star Wars okay so first off I'm going to draw a line and I'm gonna tell it let's see if it's 450 so I'm gonna make it 500 and it only did five <laughs> Let's try this again. I went straight across. Okay, there we go. That's much better. Now I'm going to find the center of that by going right there. And I'm going to go up to 230. okay so that's going to be the center uh, the center point for my top circle my isometric circle this is going to be the bottom of my isometric circle okay or iso circle I should say so the first one is going to be let's see we're at 450 so we're going to go over here we're going to type oh we're type el for ellipse okay so we hit enter and then we type the letter i for isocircle we're going to be doing a lot of that specify center of isocircle so there's our center specify radius of isocircle or we hit d for diameter so we can hit d and enter and then we specify the diameter which is 450 and there we go there's our 450 diameter on that now I'm also going to draw the other two circles that are in there uh, one is a 200 and one is a 140 okay so I'm going to EL I specify center and diameter D enter and then 200 and then EL I enter specify center of isocircle specify D for diameter and then type in 140 
Now, those are basically the only major circles I'm going to have to draw. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy these guys, copy, I'm going to clip there, I'm going to come up to here so I can just hover on that point, but the first one I'm going to make is 85. Enter. Now, the next one, I'm going to just click this one and this one, and copy, click that original spot, and then I can bring that up to here. Okay. Now, I can delete these guys, and I can trim this guy, and then we're going to draw a line from this, the, that quadrant there down to there, and then I can copy from there to there, and I can do the same thing down here, quadrant to quadrant, and copy, copy, okay. Now, let's see. Let's start trimming. So we can trim that guy and that guy. And these we can do away with. And this and this and this. Now, we also have the small circles to put in here. So this is where it gets fun. I'm going to leave that line right there. Okay, but I'm going to take this one out. Actually, before I take that one out, I could draw a line at 30 degrees. And I can mirror. Oops. You know, I, I've been doing this for so long, and yet every time I use the mirror command, I hit escape instead of enter, and it erases what I just tried to put in there. Okay, so now we're going to mirror this again, but we're going to mirror down here, and that's going to give us our big X, and enter. So now, I can take this, And I can move this. It's 85. So I'm going to hover over top of this. Type in 85. Now that gives me, this is on the surface of this part right here. Okay. So what I need to do now is I need to make a center line so I know where the center of those where those little small holes are going to go, okay? So, EL, I, center, so we have the center right here. And, let's see, what is it? It's a diameter of 350, so I hit D, enter, 350. Okay, so now I'm going to change that to a center line. Okay. Yeah, I know I've been drawing all of this in a border and I should should not have done that. I'm going to change that right now. Sometimes I just get away and start drawing and I don't pay attention and sometimes it comes around and bites me in the back of the neck <laughs> or somewhere else so object line there we go so now all I have to do is don't uh, uh, 
pick that as the spot for the 75 diameter circles. So, EL, I, enter, specify center. So we're going to pick right here, and D for diameter, and 75. So now I can pick this and copy to here and here and here. So now I can select that, that, those, and I can trim this and this and that and that. And I could also trim this guy because we don't need to see all that. And there you go. So, then we go to our metric title block, and we double click, unlock, bring that down, there we go, just like that, turn off the grid, and what a bing, what a bang, there we go. So this would be, come on. Come on, text editor. Here we go. P6-5. And since this is an isometric drawing, we really don't have those to scale. So, NTS, which means not to scale. Now, the isometric drawings are the only ones that we have that we put not to scale. If it's an orthographic view that shows the two or three views, then we have those scaled to a scale, a regular standard scale, you know, which is like one to one, one to two, which is half scale, one to four, which is quarter scale, um, two to one, which is double scale, okay? But uh, this is how this should look, okay? Now, one thing I didn't do, let me, um, LTS, and there we go. Now our hidden line, or our center line appears as a center line, which designates the uh, center of those guys. Okay? So, let me know if you have any questions, but uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps, and um, let me know. Take care. Bye-bye.